We just finished our live on what's wrong with the Bible, Exodus 30 and 31. A couple of key things I want to point out as far as this particular video. People like to say that this God created the Sabbath as a demonstration for man needing to rest and replenish himself and to keep the Sabbath holy. There were two contradictions within this. In chapter 31, uh, he said that if you don't, if you profane the Sabbath, then you must die. If you work on the Sabbath, then you must be excommunicated from the community. That was in verse 14. But then in verse 15, he goes right back behind that and says that if you work on the Sabbath, then you must die. So which is it? Do you die on the Sabbath or are you excommunicated on the Sabbath? That in itself will predict will, will show you a contradiction within the Bible that this guy doesn't know which punishment he wants to administer. Although both being horrible, he doesn't know which punishment he wants to administer if you were to work on the Sabbath. You're either dying or, or excommunicated. Which one is it? This guy can't make his mind up as to which one it's going to be. And in another part that we talked about that still deal with the Sabbath, people have always argued and said that it was just a representation of what man needs. Man needs to take a day of rest, a day of worship. And that God didn't actually need to rest as it is described in Genesis when it said that God rested on the seventh day. But here in chapter 31 and verse 17, it says, and I'm going to read the whole verse. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. He was refreshed. I've drunk some of my coffee. I depleted it. If I refill it, I've refreshed it. So that means that your deity in working those six days lost energy, lost some of himself, and then had to be refreshed by working, by resting. If your deity requires being refreshed, then that invalidates your deity as being the creator of all. Because the omnipresent, omnipotent, all-knowing God does not need to be refreshed. But it says clearly, the seven day he rested and was refreshed. That's what your book says. There's no allegory there. There's nothing there. It's, it's saying what he needed. He needed to be refreshed. And if your God can have any portions of himself lost, then that cannot be the God, the creator, because it can never not be full within itself. But it says clearly refreshed, meaning he needed to recuperate. All right. Free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibrations.